Ever wonder how muscles actually contract to move your skeleton? Calcium is the trigger. When a nerve signals a muscle cell, it causes a sudden increase in calcium ions, Ca2+, inside the muscle fiber. Those calcium ions enable the molecular machinery, actin and myosin fibers, to slide and contract the muscle. After the contraction, calcium gets pumped back into storage within the cell and the muscle relaxes. If there's no calcium, your muscles can't contract properly. Calcium ions are also essential in nerve cells. When a nerve impulse reaches the end of a neuron, nerve cell, calcium rushes in and causes the release of neurotransmitters. The chemicals that transmit the signal to the next cell. In this way, calcium is directly responsible for allowing nerves to communicate. The heart is a muscle, so the same idea. Calcium orchestrates the contraction of the heart muscle cells. In fact, hospitals use calcium injections in certain cases to help stabilize irregular heartbeats or as part of advanced cardiac life support because of its effect on the heart muscle and electrical signaling. When you get a cut, and it bleeds, your body has a clotting mechanism to stop the bleeding. Calcium is one of those critical players in the clotting cascade. Without calcium, blood cannot clot properly as calcium ions are required to many of the enzymatic steps that lead to a stable blood clot. In blood banks, they add substances that bind calcium to prevent donated blood from clotting in the bag. 